I just can't call hairstylist anymore and have them go, yep, I'm booked out for 30 days. And I go, <laughs> what the fuck are you, what, what are you selling? That's Haircuts. why. Haircuts. Go see Miriam at Great Clips. You're, <laughs> you're gonna be good to Welcome back to another Three Bourbon Ears. The sacks are back yet again. Amen. Today we are going over three great bourbons under $30. And just like the other videos that you've probably seen with the sacks, we don't know what each other brought. Yep. So surprise. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Yeah, so all we gotta do is figure out who's gonna go first. But again, like Ethan said, this is just three bourbons that we really love um, that are under $30. So we're talking about budget range bourbons. Yeah, today. you budget seekers, this is your video. Which we normally don't do, and I think it's good to hit some of those bourbons yeah, that everyone definitely. can find. Because a lot of times uh, we review high cost bottles, bottles that are impossible to find. Um, and so does everyone else on YouTube. So it's kind of refreshing, I think, to see three bottles that are yeah. under yeah. 30 bucks that you can find on the shelf. So yeah. Who wants to go first? I, I can. Know. You want to go first? Yeah. He's excited. Mine's right. pretty, mine's, mine's pretty obvious. Let's but. see it. All right. I did, I did, this time I didn't cheat. I didn't feel or touch or look at anything. Oh my God. I knew he was going to do that. I, I, I was looking at the Buffalo Trace I have up there. I'm like, yeah. which is going to... Yeah. So the reason I did this is uh, obviously it's under $30. And recently I've been going back to it. I finished like half a bottle last month and I'm like near half through this one again. I'm just drinking it a lot. In the summer oh, yeah. and stuff. Um, what is the retail like? Twenty six ninety. Yeah, actually, it's or? it's like twenty seven. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, it's just the perfect value. It's got a little bit of everything. You got those fruity notes. You've got um, kind of the oaky flavor. I think this is aged like six to eight years. Yeah, that's yeah. what they say. So uh, decent aging on it. It's just all around great product. Harder to find in some areas for us. Yeah. It's getting harder. I mean, Definitely now now harder. it's actually like allocated. I think it's here. the Joe Rogan effect. Yeah, <laughs> probably. probably. And if you didn't know, Joe Rogan, big podcaster, sponsored by Buffalo Trace. He drinks it like every other episode yeah. and he talks about it. And then 11 million people are like, I got to go get a bottle of that. It's and definitely contributing to some yeah. of the, to the scarcity that we're seeing. In right. Well, and just the fact that uh, Buffalo Trace Distillery just has so many crazy products. You know, right. it's like the only one people can get their hand on. Right, right. So it's like. You're trying to get a piece of that. Yeah, you're like, I just want to taste their profile. Well, right. You want a little chunk of glory. glory. <laughs> yeah, so that too, that's another good reason to get it. Um, yeah. Get your hands on it. Very good product. Uh, that's my good one under 30. Uh, I'll go next. Go back yeah, let me go next because. I'm actually going to pour some. Stella. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Stella's like 50 bucks, but. I still wanted to throw it in here somewhere. Like, I <laughs> yeah. was trying to find a way to do it, but uh, you can tell that we drink bottle. bourbon together and that we're buddies. Oh uh, my god! Oh! Also, <laughs> it's even the store pick. Trick. Is it the store pick? Yeah, it's single barrel. It's a store pick. Uh, I think oh, this, was, this one was exactly thirty, I think, because of the, the store pick factor. Um, but yeah, Buffalo Trace. It's uh, it kind of sucks that we picked the same bottle. I wish we would pick something different, but it is great bourbon and it's cheap. Uh, at thirty dollars, even for your store picks, if you can find store picks, just buy them. I mean, it's yeah, gonna, it, it's not going to be any worse than the regular pick, at least that we found. Yeah. Um, and what's a store pick if people don't know? Yeah, a store pick is just a, a store that did a. Uh, they went out and they tasted individual barrels, and then they picked one of those barrels that they liked the best, and then they bottled it yeah. for their store. It's usually someone who knows their stuff about. Yes, yeah, so this, this is a grocery store in our area that did a store pick, and we got a hold of a few bottles. Um, but the regular stuff's great too. Uh, like we said before, it gives you a little taste of the one of the most famous distilleries and and uh, in their flavor profile, which is something that we like a lot. Oh I mean, yeah, we like the Eagle Rares a lot. We like yeah. Colonel Taylors yeah. a lot. We you know we're Stay big junior. fans. So this is kind of a natural place for us at thirty bucks. If you can't find it, um, I'm sorry. That, you know it's it is becoming harder to find, like Mitch said. But, yeah. Um, well, it's crazy. Stores are doing one per customer now. Yeah, like, stores around here are doing out. limit one per customer. You're buying like four at a time. Dude, I yeah. think there are yeah. people who are like coming up up here where there is a ton. Minnesota. They're buying like 20 across. of them and then they drive down south and sell. Yeah, we, yeah. We I really think the, people yeah. are doing that. We hopped across the river uh, over the border here to Minnesota and to they Mexico. said that they, All that too, that they yeah. couldn't get any Buffalo Trace in. So even just like a few miles away, uh, they weren't able to get it. So right. yeah, but Buffalo Trace is my pick. Uh, yeah, two for Buffalo Trace, I guess. All right, so Can you do it uh, this is a decoy in my sack because a my bottle sack fits. And a decoy sack. It's kind of tough because, again, the bourbon ears are, we're a little spoiled now and we're not drinking a whole lot of like cheap stuff. Going so on. I'm gonna hand you that. All right. Woodford Reserve. Oh, Woodford okay. Reserve. Nice. So 
Oh, you couldn't fit it in the sack. No. Ah, no uh, wonder. Ah, I should have thought of that. So, Woodford oh. Reserve, I, I mean, typically it's like 25, 26, 27 yeah. bucks, I think. Something for, like that. Yeah, yeah, it's under. I mean, one of the cooler bottles for the cheap realm, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff absolutely. just really generic, and you can't go wrong with Woodford, right? I think you're absolutely right. In Woodford, too, this is like, like eight years ago, I was drinking Woodford Reserve at a work Christmas party. Yeah. And I remember, I didn't, I didn't know anything about whiskey back then, but I felt fancy for drinking <laughs> yeah, Woodford yeah. Reserve, and I kept on ordering Woodford Reserve right. uh, Manhattans. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so for some reason, I don't know, it, it just carries that weight with it, that name. Yeah. Um, where if you're not really a big bourbon person, you can buy this bottle and, and people will be happy about it. And it's not going to so. tear out a hole in your wallet. Exactly. You know, with, no. Just the whole point of this, right? But the beauty of that is exactly what you said. You can enjoy this you know, neat. neat you can cocktail. throw this on some ice. It's good on a cocktail. In a too. cocktail. Yeah. If you want to make any mm -hmm. sort of a Manhattan and old fashioned, anything just a tier better than what you're normally getting, mm -hmm. throw some Woodford in it. Yeah. And I can't tell you how many, like, especially with my brother, like, nights where it's like, I don't know what we should drink. Do we want to drink something expensive? Uh, just post out the Woodford. Throw a Woodford in it. So, yeah. Yeah, Brown Foreman yeah. is just a great distillery, too. It's, all yeah. their stuff. Is yeah, that, uh, is that a ninety-three or ninety? Uh, a ninety point four proof. That's yeah, right. So yeah, these Buffalo, are ninety. I think Buffalo Trace are ninety. So yeah, yeah, all low proof. Uh, it was what you typically get with, uh, with yeah. this price range too. It's kind of lower proof bourbons. Yeah, if you um, find any over a hundred at thirty bucks, I'll yeah, that's come that's talk to me. Well, there's some like Evan that Williams that and is. some cheaper stuff. But. Yeah, yeah. So all right. all right. Well, thank you guys for watching. What is your favorite bourbon under thirty? Was it any of these? Um, I would say one that we maybe missed was Elijah Craig. Uh, that was one that small was on batch. my radar. Yeah, yeah small yeah. batch. Elijah that's one Craig that's really good, good too. People are going to say Evan Williams. Evan Williams. Uh, that, especially yeah. that bottle and bond because I think that's like $19. Yeah, that's like one like, of the craziest values. Yeah, but, yeah, probably the best value in bourbon. But, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We launch videos every Thursday. We got more videos on the way. But thank you. And we'll see you in the next one. All for one, one for all. Cheers.